Hello folks, my name is Mike Peters, and yes, I was a student of Angelo. And um, first off, I'd like to thank Mark Ramis and the Scarsoletti family for giving me the opportunity to be the first one to perform on this wonderful stage. When I first heard that the band shell was gonna be named in honor of Mr. Scarsoletti, I felt it was perfect. This place is gonna be a place for local performers, both young and old, to show off their talents for decades to come. And Mr. Scarsoletti spent his life discovering young talent and honing them into legitimate performers, and he would certainly appreciate this new facility. I met Mr. Scarsoletti in around 1970, when I was about to choose an instrument that I would want to play in his band. And I told him I wanted to be a drummer, and he pulled my lower lip down and my upper lip up, and he looked at my teeth. And I thought, what is this guy, a dentist, too? <laughs> Right. But he looked, at, he looked at my teeth and he said, you're not a drummer, Michael, you're going to be a, a trumpet player. <laughs> uh, apparently he had enough drummers. <laughs> so, so a few days later, I showed up in the band room. I was escorted over to Smith Hall, that's where his uh, band room was. And he pulled out a case from the shelf and opened it up and pulled out a horn that looked more like a, an antique <laughs> than an instrument. I mean, this thing was ancient. And, I thought it possibly could have blown taps in the Civil War. <laughs> but then he took, it, he took his mouthpiece out of his pocket and he stuck it in the horn and he flipped through the valves a bit and he might have even applied some valve oil to it. And then he put the uh, horn up to his lips and filled that room with such a beautiful sound. And I believe um, that was the first time that I actually felt music flow through my veins. And um, because of that, um, music is still plays a huge part in my life, thanks to Mr. Angelo Scarsoletti. I spent a lot of time with him over the next few years. I studied with him during school hours, after school hours. I took lessons from Mr. Scarsoletti privately. I believe on Tuesday evenings, I uh, would have my mother drive me up to uh, his house. He had a little music studio attached to the side of the house that had a private entrance. and. Um, yeah, in that little room there was a piano, a snare drum, a hi-hat. There were instruments piled everywhere along with sheet music and all kinds of music literature. But the greatest thing in that room was the most talented and devoted music instructor that I've ever known. So, Mr. Scarsoletti has been gone for over a decade now and he's been absent from our school system here locally for even longer. To be both remembered and honored after so much time has passed speaks volumes for the, the amount of respect that the people in this community have for this man. So today, as our town commemorates Mr. Angelo Scarsoletti by awarding his name to this arena, I too thank you, sir, on a personal level for all that you've given to me. Now before Dylan and I start playing I need to mention, mention a couple of other people. Number one is um, Russ Hallman, the wonderful Russ Hallman. Russ had his hands in so many community affairs throughout the years, and many people will never realize the extent of his involvement, mostly because that's the way Russ really wanted it to be. From the gatherings to the Halloween parades, Sladington's 2013 celebration, and the Day in the Park festivals, he put together trying to build on the enthusiasm that was created from the 150th celebration. What Russ was always there providing the backbone for a multitude of events, and he never wanted to be thanked or even listed as an organizer. He'd rather stand in the back and in the sidelines and enjoy from a distance. He left us all too soon, but we need to remember and be appreciative of the countless hours and personal date donations that he gave which has played a major role in what is happening right here and right now. So thank you, Russ. I certainly miss you, as we all do. And of course, I need to mention my lifelong best friend and partner in music, John Ortiz. Um, not a day goes by, not one where John doesn't make my way into my thought, make his way into my thoughts. And from the absolute beginnings of this project, John was there. He may, may have very well been the first person to suggest the idea of a band shell to a handful of listeners. John embraced the idea of bringing our community together with a structure like this so many years ago, I think it was probably seven or eight years ago. 
he speculated how the park would be, how this facility would be laid out, parking, park capacity, and he even developed some ideas with Mike Gallio and put them into CAD programs at Lehigh Engineering in 3D. While everyone was wondering if this could happen, John insisted that it had to happen, and now it has. I've never seen a man with a bigger smile than the one that John owned, and if he was standing here right now, his smile would have grown even larger than ever. John also left us too soon, but his memory and contributions have survived. Thank you, John, I miss you, my friend. So yeah, here we are at Victory Park, and th this place is actually where my parents met, probably within 20 yards of where I am standing when this was a skating rink. It's the place where my father played as a youth, place where my sisters and brother and I played, my children, my grandchildren. I played ball up in that field up there, as did my son, and we all swam in the pool. I kissed my wife, Monica, for the very first time on the park bench over there. And I kissed her a couple times since then as well. <laughs> so when I said it was now an honor to be here standing right here right now for a multiple, multitude of reasons, I was certainly speaking the truth. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, folks. Thank you for having me here. And uh, we're gonna start playing in a couple minutes. Enjoy.